All right, guys, how you doing? I'm Preston with DIY Hunter. Thanks for joining in. We're gonna be doing some uh, turkey pattern testing. So what I did here is I got a target down here I set up. Sorry if I'm talking a little loud. I got my uh, earplugs already in. I just set up a target roughly at like, I'd say about 25 yards. And I haven't shot this gun. I have a red dot on it. So, you know, stuff can happen. It's banged up, my red dot's beat up. I'm just gonna throw a shell in. I have some long beards, number sixes. I'm just gonna throw a shell in, make sure it's hitting around 25 yards first. And then we're gonna start going through some patterning. I'm gonna show you a bunch of different shells. I'm gonna run through the long beard XR five shot. Oh, long beard XR five shot in a three and a half inch. The long beard XR six shot in the three and a half inch, which killed a lot of turkeys with this and I have a feeling this is gonna be the winner. I have a Remington, what is this, Nitro Turkey, six shot, three and a half inch. I don't have the box, but I have a bunch of shells left. And you'll notice I'm sticking with a lot of the six shot. That's kind of my go-to ammo with turkey. It just seems to pattern the best out of this gun. I don't think there's any one true winner or best shot to pick. You can kill it with anything if you hit it right. I just feel like it gives the best weight to, with shooting the three and a half inch, I have the two ounce shot. It's quite quite heavy. So you actually get a lot more coming out with the three and a half, which is the only reason I shoot a three and a half. Um, the more the better. I have a Federal Heavyweight TSS. And this is a nine shot, two ounce. They didn't have two, or two and a quarter. Ha <laughs> ha, that's what I wanted, nine ounce. I feel like this here is gonna be my winner, but we'll see. And then I'm shooting the Browning TSS, two and a quarter, seven and nine shot. So I'm really interested to see what this does. Um, with it being two and a quarter, it's a 50-50 mix of seven and nines. I feel like it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna throw, throw a shot on paper here and just make sure, like I said, my red dot's hitting about where it should be, and then I'll get everything set up, put the camera on the uh, on the targets, and we'll go from there. We'll let you show uh, show you what we're we're seeing. Holy moly! Well, that's it's a shade high, but I think it might have been me, so I'm not going to touch it, but. That's a target. Holy crap. Okay guys, we are ready to roll. I'm all squared up. I have the target hitting, first target's 30 yards, and I had the uh, test shells hitting perfectly. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do a uh, three inch, a three inch six shot long beard XR, and a three and a half inch long beard XR. These are the only two I'm gonna do three and a three and, and a three and a three and a half. They're both six shot, so I want to see what the patterns look like with the five to the six, or from the three and a half to the three. Um, I already know from past testing, they're really, really similar at 30 yards, so you don't see much difference. But for the for the test at hand, I'm gonna do the two long beards, the Remington Nitro, the Turkey Nitro at 30, and the two at TSS at 30. And then we're gonna bump out the 50, and I'm gonna do the exact same test, and we're gonna go from there. So. Let's let her rip and see what we come up with. Okay, first shot, left target, three inch, six shot, Versamax, er, Versamax. Um, Longbeard XR. Second shot. Three and a half inch, six shot, long beard XR. <laughs> Woo, daddy. Let's go change up the targets. Okay, now we got the Browning and the Federal TSS. The Browning is a seven and nine mix. The TSS heavyweight is a nine, both two and a quarter ounce. So. First shot is gonna be the bra the Federal TSS nine shot. Second shot, Browning mix between TSS seven and nine. 
Let's let her rip. Federal TSS number number nine coming up. Holy smoking Joes. Jesus. Oh, it's a pretty good pattern. Browning, sevens and nine mix. Woo. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, three-way test. Perfect, so 53 yards. Let's give it a whirl. We're gonna test the Longbeard XR, three and a half inch, six shot, the Federal nine shot TSS, and the Federal, uh, or the Browning seven and nine mix. All three at 53 yards. Let's see what happens. The Browning at, th at 30 shot a little bit low, and the Federal and the Longbeard both hit on perfect. I'm running a Remington Versamax 28 inch barrel with just the stock Remington choke. Um, I've pissed around with other chokes in it and none of them hit very well. They were all over the place and I was having trouble mapping it. Now that I have the red dot, I can maybe go back to them. But as you saw on that 30 pattern, I got a big nice hunk. Um, I'm okay with that. I shoot most birds in hardwood timber. To shoot from the ground at 50 yards is about impossible anyway. I don't field hunt, so let's see what this does. A little high and right. Next up. Federal TSS, number nine. Next up, Browning. Number seven and number nine. Wow, does that thing kick like a son of a bitch. That's crazy. Okay, let's go check them out. I don't know how or why, but I can tell you for certain that browning shell kicks harder than the other ones. I, I could be nuts, but that's, I put three rounds through each one, and that browning one kicks like an SOB. <laughs> um, the three and a halfs, even that gun sled, I don't have it weighted down, but uh, holy shit ski. Well, let's show you here, folks. So, uh, here we have it. The left, got Longbeard XR. Now, I floated, this is the center pattern, this is the Longbeard XR getting into there. This is the Longbeard XR, six shot at 54. The nine shot Federal TSS and the Browning seven and nine. And as you can see, I, I, I don't really have a depicted winner there for this distance other than obviously this nine shot due to how much more pattern it looks like it has. And what I would say that's very nice is what I like to see is if I brought a youth hunter out or even myself, I'm not a pro. If I'm 40 yards and I miss just a little, do you see how much variance? I got six inches of variance left and right where there's still 45 BBs. Now, that being said, this box of shells for five is $45 and for 10 is only $20. So you get more shells for half the cost. And when I look over here, I tug this shot even in a gun sled and miss this pattern and I still have, and I was aiming for target purposes. I was not aiming at the head, which would have brought this up and these would be a lot better. I was aiming at gizzard body match to try to get the pattern. If you look on this one, I can't count real quick, but I have Thirty-eight to forty in the kill shot at fifty-five yards of the Longbeard XR. Now, granted, this nine-shot Federal for twice the cost. If money is a relevant issue and you really want to increase your odds, 
this thing dominated at 30 yards compared to these two. And I would not say dominate at 54 by any means, but hands down did better. Now, if it came down to this browning shell and this federal, it's no doubt for the same exact cost what I would buy. That's not even comparable. And if you look at, oh, I put them back in the truck. I'll do a comparison here in a little bit of the, uh, the ones from 30. Um, the browning at 30 was much, much less than the browning, the federal TSS. So, however, the long beard at 30 was just as equivalent to these. So this is a pretty cool little test. Um, I would say I will probably keep that one box a federal TSS when I'm taking out beginners or youth hunters or someone who's never really shot at a turkey and I'm gonna let them run that shell. But I don't know that I'm gonna necessarily run them because I got three boxes of this and this looks pretty deadly to me. Um, like I said, I missed that pattern of hair right. If this was shifted over, it'd be even worse. But look at how dense this is at 55 for a, a $20 box of 10 rounds. It's $2 a shell instead of 12, 15 bucks a shell. Um, but this federal is pretty good. So let me run back and we're gonna show you the comparison with the 30 yard and the 50, 54 yard, 55 yard. And I'm gonna narrow it down. I'm gonna eliminate the browning and I'm gonna be between these two and show you compare contrast from 30. Okay guys, so I'm gonna give you my quick synopsis here on uh, these shells and show you my conclusion. I don't think this was a wide variety test. However, I've shot heavy shot out of this gun. I've shot the Remington Nitros. I've shot, you name a shell, I've shot it. And honestly, a lot of the shells on the market are fantastic if you always, always, always are gonna shoot under 30 yards. Um, I don't like the blends. I don't, most of them, I wanna feel comfortable at 40 or 45 in case I'm on a field edge, which rarely happens. But I hate having a giant 28 inch barrel shotgun with a nice turkey choke that I can't shoot 40 yards. And most of the shells are garbage out of this gun, specifically over 35 yards. These rounds I picked, the Federal, the Browning, and the Longbeard XR especially, which I'm gonna say for value, Longbeard XR, hands down, not even close. And for performance, those Federal TSS number nines are pretty awesome. However, I don't know that they outperform the XR enough to make me wanna go, eh, I'd switch. But seeing this pattern that I did, the right here that pattern at 55 make or 54 really makes me think that 65 to 70 is completely doable which i know some guys that field edge hunt and you know birds hang up sometimes i would be more than comfortable shooting out to 60 if that's at 54 55 so for sheer overall performance and then here's the federal that's the federal at 30. Now that is not too tight of a pattern for me. That's just good enough. Cause at 30, you're gonna have to really miss by a solid 12 inches to not get a BB in them. However, here's the XR at 30. Like I said, not nearly as good, but it's pretty freaking good. I mean, I actually punched holes through in the bottom of this. You can see a couple holes in there. It's not too bad. So Federal XR, in my opinion, if dollars and cents is an issue, 100% XR. Even if dollars and cents isn't an issue and you're shooting 45 or less, Longbeard XR all day. However, I will say I'm a big advocate of the three and a half over the three. There's a heck of a pattern difference for the amount of BBs from a three and a half and a three for sure. So if you can handle it and stomach a shooting a three and a half inch, do it all day in my opinion because you get the exact same, you get the same dollar for dollar, but you get more bang for your buck in terms of ounces. So the winner today, I'm gonna definitely say, if I just overall, money's not an issue, they're giving me 100 rounds, I'm gonna go with this Federal TSS. This, uh, here's 30, here's 54. That's pretty unimaginable they're making rounds to do that. Granted, you gotta pay for them. But as far as the XR goes, and the browning did not do bad. The browning round, this is the browning at 54. Kill a bird, no problem. But for dollars to donuts, the same cost as the Federal, I'm not buying this one. Now granted, this is a 7.9 mix. This is a 7.9 mix, but it's the same ounce of lead. So I would go with all nine with the same ounce of lead to get that many more BBs. I don't know what that would work out to be, probably 20, 30% more than a 7.9 blend. But that's still really good in my opinion. However, the XR, 
pretty freaking good. 30 and 54. So if you're going, our clear cut winner is not clear cut. Uh, for performance out of this gun, Remington Versamax, 28 inch barrel, um, I would say straight to dollar, you got your XR, and for pure overall performance, a youth hunter, someone that's getting out that's never really done it, and you wanna increase your largest margin of error for them, Federal TSS. So guys, if you like this video, please click subscribe, turn on those notifications for us, drop a comment, let us know what else you wanna see. Um, I had to cite this thing in because I'm gonna be using it here real soon, and I wanna get this video up for you guys. So if you see something else you like, let us know, but until then, stay tuned guys, and remember when you're out there, always be original. See you guys.